What's up, y'all? It's World P, Gangster and a Gentleman. Y'all can follow me at World Pennywell on Instagram and Twitter, Will Pennywell Jr. on Facebook. And if you're looking for my music or any merchandise, you can find me on my website at pimpent.com. What's up, y'all? It's World P, Gangster and a Gentleman. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Got a great episode for y'all tonight. Before we get off into it, I need y'all to click the subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, so y'all can get notifications whenever I drop new music or new episodes. So armed robbery, the art of armed robbery, you know, um, armed robbery was one of my um, more pleasurable um, hustles, but it also came with uh, the most consequences. So. First to tell you kind of how I started off, you know, we, I went from breaking and entering to selling crack. And I went to juvenile home. Then when I got out of juvenile, you know, I started, you know, the stick up game. So, you know, my first, my first robberies was, you know, simple stuff, you know, snatching purses, um, you know, catching people slipping, you know, going in and out of, you know, uh, department stores. And um, then I moved on to, you know, fast food restaurants, check and goes. And uh, before you know it, it was like an everyday hustle. You know, I became addicted to it, just like, uh, you know, like gambling. You know, if you, if you go gamble and you win money, then you want to go back and win more money. And it was the same type of situation, you know, coming from, um, you know, a, a poor household and not really having much, you know, I seen robbery as a way to, you know, get the means of the things that I wanted. So. You know, I became a everyday stick up kid. You know, I was going around, I didn't discriminate, black, white, foreign, uh, big business, small business, whatever I felt I could go in and, uh, you know, get the resources I needed to continue, you know, living the life that I wanted to live. Um, but the night in armed robbery that, went, that I'll never forget was the night that sent me to the penitentiary. So on this particular night, you know, one of my mans, um, hit me up, said he had a, you know, a lick on the floor, you know, a cat owed him some money, you know, was getting money, but was playing games. So, you know, we went out there to, to go look for him initially. But, you know, in the process, you know, we were hitting little licks, you know, motherfuckers selling drugs on the corner, people coming out of party stores, whatever little licks we could get, but we weren't really, we weren't really getting much, you know. Eventually, we about to call it quits, but before we call it quits, we stopped by, you know, the neighborhood gas station and my man's pull up. So, man we was looking for all of a sudden pops up. He with his mama. He get out, pump his gas, my man's jump out, you know, put the burner to him, run his pockets, get all this stuff. Um, you know, we peel off. You know, the police is right on our ass though. You know, somebody inside the gas station seen the whole play go down, called the hook, you know, we peeled out. You know, I'm 16, I'm about to be 17. So, you know, we, we on a fast, high-speed chase. We all through residential areas, you know. It was a good thing when nobody out, you know, nobody got hurt or nothing. You know, we shooting through things. We end up losing the police, get out on foot, you know, take off running. Um, and, you know, eventually we all get caught, you know what I mean? Because they get our car, they get our fingerprints, they get all our stuff, they end up putting ABC together. And eventually, you know, they end up catching us. So, you know, we going off to court, you know, a couple months. They end up dismissing everything without prejudice. You know, that means they, they drop the case temporarily because they ain't have enough evidence, but they can bring the shit back up. So this particular case, we was free for about 11 and a half months. You know, I'm, I'm working a job, you know, I'm out doing my thing. I'm trying to, you know, get shit back together in my life. Police come up to the work spot. I shoot off the back, hop in the whip, pulls off. Now I'm on the run. So about three weeks go by, I finally say, fuck it, they done caught, you know, my man's already, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just, you know, turn myself in and shit. So I go turn myself in. So not knowing what the fuck I'm really facing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, so I go into court, the judge talking about, we can sentence you to zero to natural life in prison. So, you know, they spook us with that, they get us with that. And, you know, not really having a, a bunch of resources and stuff like that, we take a plea deal and, you know, I go off to prison. But while I'm in prison, I'm seeing people that only did one armed robbery, they first armed robbery, got 30 years, 15 years. 
in the body and somebody getting natural life. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself while I'm in my, you know, while I'm in my cell, I'm like, damn, any one of those crimes could have got out of hand. Any one of them situations could have led me to 30, 50, or 100 damn years in the state penitentiary. You know, I was lucky I only did five. So tonight is a very special song for me, you know, dedicating. This was the first song that I ever wrote in my whole entire life. I dedicated this to my man, Bobby Smith. He's locked up in the MDOC, doing uh, 60 to 100 years. Uh, bro, we still working, you know, to get you home. Looking for all support, we appreciate it. Um, but y'all check this out, man. It's called Ain't About That. It's on my first album. I vibe different. Streaming on all platforms. You also can purchase it at pimpent.com. Check it out, though. Ain't about that. Niggas hollering gang gang, they ain't really about that. These niggas hollering loyalty, but they ain't really about that. These bitches hollering gang gang, they ain't really about that. These bitches hollering loyalty, but they ain't really about that. This is for my niggas locked down and get a kite back. This is for my niggas off in court giving life back. This is for them big booty bitches, throw that ass back. Now hold it right there, mommy. Now make that ass clap. Bobby doing 60, flag doing life. One want a J pay, the other want a wife. I'm solo in these streets, you motherfucking right. You prefer a gun, but I prefer a knife. I'm up close in person, struggle for your life. Gassing for air, reaching for the light. I'm on that vibe in that. Ain't about that. Y'all can check that out on all streaming platforms. Y'all make sure y'all tune in for my next episode. Check out my YouTube page for new videos and new music.